Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card you're making today. It's a really lovely card, and I've made this because I, a friend of my mother's is um, went into well. I'm filming this actually before Christmas, so this is the week before Christmas, and a friend of my mother's has gone into hospital for a knee operation, so I've made this card for her. So I'm sharing this one with you in January, but I'll have already made this card and sent it to her by then. So. There you go. So let's get started. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White in my Stamparatus. And the stamp set we're going to use is this one called Art Gallery. And this is a new set from the mini catalogue that goes live 4th, 5th of January. And that's one of these two-step stamping where we can layer the stamps up. So let me show you what I've done. So first layer we're going to stamp in Flirty Flamingo. And we're going to stamp this three times. And I'm going to show you how to do this the easy way. Just make sure you try and if possible ink up all of your stamp. Not always easy for me to see with all these lights on. But there we go. And then what I'm going to do is move this up a couple of rungs like that. And we're going to re-ink. And stamp again and then we're going to move it up a couple of rungs again whoops knocking over my camera so I've got it plugged in here to charge so I'm bumping into the wires but it's fine so there we go and we're just going to go down there like that okay so now we're going to bring it back to position number one close up the zinc pad set that aside there bring in my simple chamois because we need to have a bit of a clean up here so you've made a nice mess clean up our stamp and then this is the stamp set here so let's put this one back and then this is the next bit to layer and this is the really clever bit if you look at it you'll see this is the bottom of the image and you just need to layer it. you just need to line up this little piece here at the bottom and that will line up every time you line that up you'll get all the rest as in position as you can it's meant to be uh, it's meant to be a very sketchy type of set so that will do me pick it up with my um, what you call this the stamper artist lid and this time we're going to be stamping in one of my favourite, favourite colours, Melon Mambo. It's just the most gorgeous pink that was ever created as far as I'm concerned. We're going to stamp. There we go. And you can see it's just meant to give us hint. But it's a very sketchy type stamp. And then we're going to do the same again, up two rungs. And because everything's in the same place, we don't have to re- we don't have to look again at what trying to um, line the stamp up again. It's already done for us. This is one of the tricks of the Stamper Artist which makes it so clever. There we go. So all three pieces beautifully lined up. Now let's do some clean up again. Okay, set that aside and I have a piece here of Whisper White and I'm just going to put that there and then what am I going to do, I'm going to get a stamp set out, sentiment out while I've got my ink pad out and this one says I'm thinking of you 
going to put it somewhere like that. Pick it up with the lid. Ink it up with the melon mambo. Lovely. Close this up quickly. Now this set has some matching dies, which are these here. And all I'm going to do now is cut my flower out and cut this out. Clear everything else up, up, up and I'll be back. Okay, so everything's cut out, so it's time to assemble. So we have a card base here, and this is Thick Whisper White. That's a standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half. And then I've got a piece here, the Designer Series paper. And this is the um, Granny Apple Green. And I'm just going to put it here on a piece of garden green and all the measurements will be on my on the blog post so don't worry about that now and we're just going to try and keep it as straight as we can and we'll just cut off the excess here with the scissors I did this on purpose that we'd have an excess so um, in case my measurements weren't accurate it would still look fine and then we're just going to put this on our piece of whatever you call it um, and cut off the excess again as I said I did this because I wasn't sure Sometimes, you know, even though you try the hardest, you don't always get things exactly cut the right size. And this way I could make sure that it would fit the, the total length of my card, like that. Okay, so get rid of those bits. Bring back our flowers. And I think I can have my first flower, yeah, there. I'm going to... Put this one on with some Tombow, just like that, and let's see, and then I think I'm going to have one here, and this one I'm going to also put with Tombow, let's see, I think something maybe like that. And then I think I'm going to try and pop up the last one on some dimensional. So sorry about the noise. I've got so much rubbish on my desk. It's unreal. Yeah, I think I'm going overkill with dimensionals today, but hey ho. They're my dimensionals and I can do what I like. It's not hurting anyone, so let's just get on with it. Take all these awful backings off that get everywhere. However hard I try, I always find, I can see a few on the floor, however hard I try to put them in the bin, that never works. I'm going to put that one on top like that. And then again, we're going to cut off the excess, but I'm going to use my larger scissors because those small ones were just annoying me. Okay, cut off all the bits that are hanging over like that. Get rid of all this mess. And I've just dumped it on the floor by mistake. Oh well, now we're going to put this in wherever we want it. I think I'm going to snip off a bit more here so I can tuck it where I want it to go where do I want it to go maybe actually this time like that so let's cut somewhere around there and as you can see I'm being so precise yeah that'll do enough faffing about we are going to stick it in I just don't want the court, the edge to be seen and of course I'll put too much Tombow 
before I could really tap it in properly. There we go. So that's that, except it's not straight. Oh dear. It's one of those days. Is it not? Yeah, that'll do. It's still not straight though. Oh, we'll sort it out after we've the videos off. I'm going to use some of these whatnots. What ones do I use? These are the frosted and clear epoxy droplets. And I'm going to use some of these big ones here. And this just gives this really extra bit of bling to the whole thing. And I think this time I'm actually going to use some of the small ones as well. If I can get this one off, it seems to be stuck to me more than anything else. So I really need my take your pick tool, but I've left it downstairs. This would work well for this. I don't. Sometimes I can't see because they're lying on top of each other. I can't really see sometimes what I'm doing. <laughs> ah, come back. Okay, there we go. Enough fucking, as I said. There you go. What do you think? Like it? Hate it? Love it? Let me know in the comments below. I do hope you enjoyed it, though. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want any more information about this project, it'll be on the blog post on my website. And the links to that on my social media links are in the description box below. That includes a link to my Facebook group where I hold a monthly online car club. So do check that out. So thank you once again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye!